I got eight minutes to record something, so we'll just start talking. Um, how about this? The earth is flat. Stationary. Does not move. The moon, we've never been to it, nor will we ever. Um, we cannot exit Earth's atmosphere. The moon is hot and made out of plasma, same as the sun. The sun is also hot and made out of plasma, but the sun is way hotter. Both the moon and the sun are both the same size. Um, God created all of it, all of us. Science is evil for the most part. Very little science is profitable for for man. Most of it's rooted in lies to spread fear and anxiety, and which is horrible. Um, if it's not in the Bible. It's not true. The Holy Spirit is the only thing that can fill the hole in your heart, make you feel whole and loved and complete and wanted and accepted. No man, woman, job, child, friend, companion, uh, buddy, mentor uh, will ever fill that hole in your heart. You'll always feel two-thirds full, 75% full, 80% full, whatever the fullness level on the inside feels like. You'll continue to feel that empty spot. And it doesn't matter what you say, do, or think. It's not, oh, when I get this job, I'll be able to save money to get a car. Once I get a car, then I'll be able to save money and buy a house. Nope, those are all lies. Lies from the devil. It's a trap to keep you in that vicious circle because public schools want to create workers and they don't want to create people who are... <sighs> capable of critical thinking. If you're not capable of critical thinking, then you make a good worker. You don't talk back. You do what you're told. Kids go to school wanting to learn and they're excited to learn. They get there and they're given a bunch of rules and they don't get to be as creative as they want and think outside the box. They're told two plus two equals four. Sit down, shut up, don't talk back, only speak when spoken to. Public school system is rigged. It's completely horrible. We were never designed to uh, carry the weight of the world on our own shoulders. We need the Holy Spirit who was sent by Jesus to come live in our bodies and help us carry these burdens and help us feel full and loved and heal us on the inside. We cannot heal ourselves. Nobody else can heal us. Therapy and counselors are great. Substance abuse counselors are great. They can help you in those moments. They might have good resources or information, but for some reason, nothing ever works or you keep going back to the same stuff. God is the only one who can heal us. God uses every mishap, every situation, everything we've ever encountered, every rape, every abuse, every beating, every drug, every alcohol, every time you beat your kid, he uses all of that in the future for you to help somebody else because you're not going to be that same person anymore. He's going to completely change you from the inside out. It's not going to happen overnight. It does not happen overnight. It's over a period of years and time. But I'll tell you what, what he does do relatively fast as he stops the drugs he stops the alcohol sometimes the cussing I wasn't cussing for a long time and then I'm back to cussing again but um he can he can heal you oh my god he can heal you he can heal you of all kinds of things I've seen so many things so many people be healed of so many things Public schools are a joke. Back in the old days, people homeschooled their kids or they sent their kids to private school. There was no such thing as public school. If you cannot afford 
private school. Then, of course, you know, try to do homeschool. If you can't do homeschool, if it's not working for you, of course, take advantage of public schooling. However, charter schools are better than public schools because they're they're more closely um, comparable to private schools. Only they get a little bit of government funding, so they're not completely private. Um, but you will get a better experience, I think, in a charter school versus a standard public school. <laughs> Sitting in my car, my kids are asleep in the back seat right now. <laughs> Gotta go inside. Um, anyways, just some ramblings. People say I'm crazy. I know I'm crazy. Crazy people live longer. Unless they're like completely like possessed or something and they walk out in the middle of traffic and get hit by a car. For the most part, crazy people live longer. I'd, I'd take being crazy over them being like completely unaware. I'd be hyper uh, sensitive or hyper in tune. Hmm. One time I thought that it'd be better to be unknowledgeable and like not know what's going on. That way I could be happy. Well, I learned I can be happy while being crazy. Mm-hmm. You can. It's completely fine. I also learned there's a lot more crazy people just like me. They're pretty much all on the internet. And most of them are in flat earth group church, uh, flat earth groups on Facebook. Or YouTube. Mainly Flat Earth on Facebook. If you are looking for a good Flat Earth group on YouTube, the 2018 Flat Earth is a good one. There's some other good ones. I have a playlist of some Flat Earth stuff. So if you're, if you're watching this video and you want to see, you can go through my playlist and look for the tab that says, um, the playlist that says Flat Earth. And there's some good videos in there. I would go subscribe to those people. Uh, I'm not done making my list. I have a lot more flat earth stuff. I have to put it in that tab. It feels like it's very limiting right now. Also the Gleason map. I think it's the 1892 map. I'm not sure of the year. The Gleason map, that's the right that's the right map. And the way it works. It tells you at the bottom of the map on the right and on the left. Anyways, I'm really tired. I'm going to go inside and go to sleep. Got to get the kids up ready for school in the morning. I love everybody. I hope everybody has a good night and a good rest of their week. Um, if you decide to comment, great. If you decide to subscribe, great. If not, God bless anyways. You guys have a good night.